to the skin on the face large. So we do not have dimension. We do not know where it end, where it start. So we consider this just part of the skin. And then there is a damage. Okay, like everything else, when you do have damage, you have to cut them off. So we cannot leave the damage there. We have to cut the damage off. So for you, what you need to do, you need to repair. So this is the simple the repair because this is not what actually to be done. This is just general. Why I said that? Because this is external patch. It can be done on any area which is does not, is not sensitive to smoothness, aerodynamic smoothness. But for area which is sensitive to aerodynamic smoothness, this is not the repair. However, the concept of repair is similar. So what we do, we cut off the section, we install double. So what is important here, we have to look at the stress. When you install double, like FTS, like what we have learned earlier, first we need to calculate load cross. Then you need to calculate calculate double strength. And you divide develop margin safety by dividing double and over load. Okay, so those are step. So this is the thing that we need to do. And uh, for load loss, it's quite interesting because we have uh, two situations where we have, uh, we have to consider all this around here, all the load that loss around the cutout. Okay, so this is something you need to be aware. So we have those conditions. We need to look at the loading of the plate, the loading of the uh, loading of the skin. It's not as straightforward what we have learned earlier, but here we are a bit more complex where we have to consider, you can see here shaded here, area with shear load. And for this area here, we have tensile and shear load. You know why? Because if you consider this in aircraft uh, fuselage, And the cutout is somewhere here. So it's, this is where the cutout is. So this uh, fuselage carry inside. Uh, that also a torsion, which I have not considered yet. And we also have bending. Yeah. So we also have bending. 
So because of that, we have, uh, because of that, we do have a complex problem Okay, around the cutout. We have situation. Okay. We have situation where we have, you see here is tensile. So the load here is tensile. The load here is tensile. The load here tensile, the load here tensile. So anything trying to stretch this area out, yeah, stretch out, those are tensile. Okay, stretch out, stretch out, tensile. Stretch out, tensile. So this you can see sigma. So the tensile load, so we're dealing with the tensile stress. However, for a thin skin like this, as we apply load, uh, there is no true thickness load. It's a load on the, on the skin itself. So those load will be in shear. So you go back to your mechanics and material, you can see for this condition, if we got skin and then how we load the skin, so one of the load that in the skin will be shear. So we can shear here. So we shear here along the cut. So both need to be considered in your calculation of load loss. And this also has to be done for your assignment because your assignment is very much like this. Uh, you have to apply both uh, the uh, skin repair as well as the stiffener repair for your assignments. I will guide you later, okay? Any question on this one? The loading. And then if you look at the shaded area here, means that this is the area that we need to really concern. Okay? Because the transfer of the load from the doubler will occur around this area. So this is where all the transfer of load will be around this area. Okay. Like we can see here. So this is the area where area where loads are transfer from skin to the doubler to the skin from the skin go to the doubler and then go back down to the skin from the skin go to the doubler and go back down to the skin so this is the area where the load will be transferred across so how about this area? There exists no, not much issue. So we are focused more on all the fastener calculation. Yeah. We'll be on this area, cover this area to carry the load. That's why some repair on the aircraft, you can see they are tapered. Okay. They are not, uh, they just, the doubler will be just not a rectangular. Okay, because they are not uh, really concerned on the area. For example, why I'm trying to see here, the doubler, sometimes you see the doubler will be. Okay. So it's not, it's not really rectangular because this area is not really considered to carry the transfer the load. So the load will be transferred around this area, around this area, and around this area. 
okay so that's why the w can be in the size and look like this okay and then all the fastness okay clear any question on the principle concept Now let's calculate how to calculate. <clears throat> like everything else. So what we're looking for is stress is force over area. Force or load stress time area. So this is two major equation which is always been used uh, vice versa. If you're looking for the stress, the force over area. If you're looking for the force, stress time the area. Okay. So for this situation, we are talking about load loss. So we're talking about load loss. Load loss. Loss or load. Loss of loss, loss of load. So what are we looking for? We're looking for stress. So this is load loss. Stress time area. What are the stress? Remember, we can find the stress of the material. This is the stress of material use or to make a doublet. If you want to calculate the load, if you want to calculate the strength of the doubler, but if you want to calculate the load loss, this stress here is the stress of the skin. And remember, we have to decide either FTU or 1.5 times FTY. So we have to choose which one is minimum. And that is the value that we use to calculate the load loss. I think that one I don't have to explain because you already should remember already how to calculate the stress here and where is the stress. Uh, what is stress here? Where do you get this stress? The stress you got from the table which I've shown earlier that also in the manual. And for the exam, normally you will give you this. Now. You will, I mean, not normally. We will use. Will we will give you the table. Okay. So what is now? What is required now? Now we have to do some imagination. Okay. Let's see the card. The card. The card. This is the card. Okay, sorry, I cannot make a straight line. Sorry, I try to do straight line. Eh? Uh, background. I think it'll be easier. Okay. So this is considered as a cut. Okay. Uh, much better. So the cut cut is on the skin it has thickness so this is the thickness so if you look at the view here that is the thickness so we are looking at this thickness this is the thickness This is the thickness. And this thickness, thickness, so this is the width of the cut. So 
So similarly, we can say they may be the length of the cut. And then we have thickness of the cut. Now easily by having width and thickness, we will have area across channel area. of the so we have cross sectional area of the cut so we also have the same thing here cross sectional area so if we do have cross-sectional area, we will have the force because like we have learned earlier, force, force equal stress time cross-sectional area. So by having that, we will have the force. It's a force here, tensile. Okay, tensile here. It's a tensile force here. Tensile force here. Remember, this is a cut. The cut we have shear. So shear along here. We have shear along here. Shear along here and shear along here. Okay, so here will be force stress time area. But here is a shear force, V, shear stress time area. So that's only different. So far, any questions? Say so we have tension, we have shear, we will have resultant force. So the force resultant will be, okay, Tension square plus shear square square root. So that is the force that you need to be used to calculate the reverts. Okay, to choose reverts and determine number of any questions so far? Okay, everyone okay? Okay. Next. Okay, let's, let's go back to the manual again.
first let's determine the area okay let's look at the cross section area So this is a cut. It was it is forty eight millimeter. Everything are the same. The cut is the same because we have uh, forty eight millimeter. Let me go back and show you. Okay, so for this cutout, the only difference is the thickness because the original is 1.6, the doubler is 1, uh, okay, the, or, the original is 1.4, the doubler is 1.6. So uh, the cross-sectional area involved will be, uh, you can see the, this order fastener and they use four time diameter for the pitch so it's 2D, 4D, 4D and 2D. So that is the dimension 48. And then from there, you get the cross-sectional area of the cut. Let me go back. I missed the cut. Where is it? So we can see uh, that 48 minus 3 times 4 because the diameter or the fastener is 4, 1, 2, 3, and then time 1.4 the thickness. Similarly, for doubler is 48 minus 3 times 4, 1, 2, 3, times thickness 1.6. So the cross sectional area will be uh, 54. Point Four millimeter square for the original skin, and fifty-seven point six millimeter for the doubler, and then you multiply with the the tensile strength, which you're looking for tension now is three fifty-two point five megapascal, and both are the same same material. You got the load for the original is hundred uh, seventeen thousand seven hundred sixty newton. And for the doubler is 20,300 for Newton. So it increased the load capability because obviously it's easy, easier to 
to understand because the thickness now is different, it's higher thickness, higher cross-sectional area, so we are able to carry a bigger load. For shear, we do the same because cross-sectional area around the, around the cut is the same. So we also multiply, only you multiply with the shear ultimate 230 and the other cross-sectional area we multiply by 230 as well. So you got the shear stress of 11,000 and the doubler is 13,000. So what I can see here, if you want to look at the pictorial view that we have for this cut, okay, for this cut, we say here is fifty uh, four point fifty four point four. 54.4 millimeter cross-sectional area here is also 54.4 the cross-sectional here but for the doubler we have because thicker so the doubler is thicker so we consider this the doubler And then around the cut here, this is a cut. So this cut here is for a doubler is around fifty seven point six. Okay, so this is 57.6. Obviously, it's thicker because of the thickness is thicker, 1.6. And from here, we calculate the load F, we calculate, we calculate the load also the V. So you can see the F is So that is the load here. Okay. 17,000. And for the shear, it's 11,000. Any questions so far? Load, how we calculate the load? I think I have given this several times, so should be no problem by now for you. Any question? So what you do next? To calculate the reserve factor. So the reserve factor. You can see here this is the that is from the tablet. This is from the original skin you have is a factor 1.14, which is higher than one, which is good. Shear the same. We have uh, shear for the doubler and shear for the original, we have 1.4 margin. So the doubler is good. 